Well, I think we'll go with the diabetic because we're looking at low, low sugars. So we start off with one cup of fluid. What could that one cup of fluid be? Yes? Water. It could be water, but that'll be a bit boring. Let's make it a bit more interesting. <laughs> Soy milk, yeah? Any other? Or? Almond. Almond, could be almond milk. Now what makes a very nice basis is the coconut water. Because that's slightly sweet. Like yeah. the experience, it really depends which coconut water you get. Mm -hmm. They're not all the same. Okay, so you look for a good one. Coconut water. I, I don't really buy it or use it, but I know people that do have told me the same thing. So you try different ones. And you might even contact each other and say, this is a good one. What else are we going to put in our smoothie? Berries. Yeah, yeah berries. You know what can make it creamy too and doesn't, um, doesn't really change the taste too much is avocado. And when we put the avocado in, we're putting a few more minerals in. We're putting uh, a very nice fat in. Okay, yeah, some nuts, seeds. What makes it very nice is the uh, chia. The chia gives it a bit of thickness or the ground flax. Seeds. Now if it's for breakfast, we need to up the protein a bit. So what we suggest is a protein powder. And you can get uh, pea, you can get hemp, you can get brown rice, organic soy. So have a look and you want a protein powder that does not have any sweetening in it. Now if a person wants a smoothie at night, there's really no need to put the protein powder in at night because you want it lighter. But in the morning, this is taking the place of breakfast. So our fibre will be in the berries, avocado, nuts and seeds. The, uh, the protein, well, that's where we do the protein powder. There is a little bit in the nuts and seeds. And the soy milk. Yep, there's a little bit there. And the fats, you've got some good fats in your... There's a little bit in the almond and the coconut water. There's a little bit in the nuts and seeds. And the avocado, that's true. What some people will do is they might put maybe one dessert spoon. Do you have a dessert spoon? That's what you eat your dessert with? Yep. So maybe one dessert spoon of coconut cream. That makes it really nice and creamy. Or some people will just put um, a dessert spoon of coconut oil in and they find that's a really nice way to get the coconut oil in because it's masked by the everything else for those that don't like the flavour. I don't know, have carob also a high... Yeah, protein? now carob's great because carob is a, called a complex carbohydrate, meaning it's not a carbohydrate that gets the sugars up. So carob powder can make it nice. And that puts a bit of protein in it. Now how the person will know that this is enough is it will take them the distance, meaning they don't get hungry and they don't need to eat anything until lunchtime. So for some people, you'll get a real tick with that because it's just blender, throw things in, buzz, drink. How much do you use of the protein powder? It's usually about a dessert spoon. I guess you'd... Only. you'd there. It's not, not a lot because it's quite concentrated, usually. 